it all began with a rejection. British swimwear brand Orlebar Brown may now be expanding into new apparel categories, having grown to almost 50 boutiques after an acquisition in 2018 by Chanel, but it was born in 2007 out of a vacation mishap. At a luxury resort in Rajasthan, India, Adam Brown, then a self-described rubbish professional photographer, was denied entry to lunch for arriving in swim trunks. This dismissal sat with him as writer. He began to question his own professional path. Why weren't bathing suits elegant enough for a sit-down meal? For that matter, why was there more elevated tailoring in women's study swimwear in Innes? Uh, two years later, from his spare room in London, uh, Brown launched Orlebar Brown with co-founder Julia Simpson Orlebar, and she left the business in, in 2008. After that lunch in 2005, he was sitting in the sunlight and playing with words, he says. I was saying to myself, I don't want to swim short. I want shorts that I can schedule for me. I was and Brown dove into market research and saw that aside from French Riviera inspired luxury swimwear brand Vabriquin, competition was slim. Other brands were treading in different waters from surf outfitters selling longboard shorts to Speedo to fashion houses such as Ralph Lauren that sometimes featured swimwear in seasonal collections. He also enrolled in a pattern cutting course but quickly saw it wasn't for him. He was no fashion designer. All I had was a narrative around one item. Brown says, and this belief that a swim trunk can fit a person better. I spent ages working on how the waistband sits higher at the back and comes down lower at the front, having darts, angled seams that help fabric flow around curves at the back, trying to get the right lengths. Uh, after working on samples with nine different factories, he ended up with one style of swim shorts, the Bulldog, in five colorways and four lengths, uh, with 60 elements in all, from adjustable side fasteners to snap closures and quick dry fabric. And Brown encouraged his personal network to spread the word. He also built a website, which he likens to opening a shop on the quietest street in the world. He was direct to consumer outreach. He began to pick up buzz, and three years after its debut, Orlebar Brown introduced shirts with the same tailored values as its shorts. One terry cloth toweling polo conjured a photo of Brown's grandfather from Hong Kong in the 70s. Right from the beginning, I'd always imagined that swimwear could be part of a bigger brand identity around sunshine, travel, happiness, and good times, he hey Mark. This fall, Orlebar Brown will introduce a totally new line a travel capsule that includes jackets, long sleeve shirts, two button blazers, pants and cushioned footwear. It's all made from merino source in New Zealand. The collection is tamer visually um, than, the, than the, the, the swim trunks, which often famously feature photography. Uh, Brown suggests it can get you to your destination before you change into something more fun. Uh, he calls it a modern luxury travel edit. Uh, with tailored sport design touches made with one yarn and one color, uh, designed to give you smart style from home to plane to resort to beach. Uh, uh, Peon and a Biden contingents, um, even after James Bond franchise filled fast uh, with this city and it wrapped it later with that and uh, maybe some more apparent Skyfall, as well as a series of luxury hotels, including Hotel de Cap Eden Rock, New York's The Mark Hotel and the Beverly Hills Hotel collaborations enable you to present your product in a way that the customer does not normally see it. Down says, uh, partnerships with photographers and photo archives such as those of high society documentarian Slynn Aarons uh, have also elevated the trunks uh, as did an in-house service called Snapshorts introduced in 2016 which allows customers to send in a personal photo to have put on a pair of shorts uh, it, um, but it's its function balanced um, with this visual style um, that continues to set the clothing apart. Um, all of our brown swimsuits can quickly dry, are durable but flexible, and have low drag in the water, says Isaiah Magsino, the style news editor of Town and Country, who swam competitively for 10 years. 
As someone who is also aesthetically driven, the details such as metalware and elegant silhouettes seal the deal. I especially love the setter model, have a few pairs in different colors, because I can wear them from the beach, with a billowy linen shirt and Belgian loafers, to lunch, without looking like a tack-out tourist. Uh, and it all ties back to a conversation Brown had uh, with many of his early adopters. Uh, customers would say to me, I feel like I'm on holiday when I put that drawstring bag uh, into my suitcase, he says, but Orla Bar Brown doesn't just exist on a beach or under an umbrella with a cocktail. It can be about the knitwear or outerwear or trousers you wear as you travel to your destination.